I don't get super excited about Chalice of the Void, but this elephant token, that's neat. Hey everyone, thanks for clicking in. I uh, hope you've survived your big Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend sale. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Chase with TCG Bowl Kings. I just wanted to uh, talk to you guys about the first big collection I've picked up since I've moved here to Tucson. Now I know a lot of people have reached out to me via email or through the uh, contact form on my website to get in touch with me about selling me collections. But as you saw in my previous video, they uh, I don't really have a whole lot of cash to be buying collections with right now. I need a little bit at least of minimum funds to operate the business as I have it. And I'm building up funds to where I can start buying collections. But this was a unique opportunity, so and I wanted to tell you guys about the first big thing that I got. Printed out this email from Nels, a very nice gentleman who uh, lives nearby. He uh, sent me this message titled, Large Local MTG Consignment Offer. That got my attention right away. I am selling off my substantial magic collection. Usually that throws up a big, I can't afford this flag, right? Then he says, or more to the point, I have sold enough of it now to become certain that I don't want to be in the business of selling individual magic cards. Fair, fair enough. That's it's not something that everyone's cut out for. And uh, I really admire him for giving it a shot and then realizing it's not what he wanted to, what he wants to do with his time. So I get that. Then he says, it seems like you do. <laughs> I'm interested in being in the business of selling individual magic cards. So I believe there's a chance we have an opportunity to help each other out. If you're interested and equipped, I would like to consign a, large, a lot of marginally above bulk cards with you. So two things jumped out at me. Consign, you know, okay, this is a legitimately what he wants to do, which means I'm not paying up front. Good for me. Uh, and then the phrase marginally above bulk cards. Remember that phrase later marginally above bulk cards. I also have a literal truckload of actual bulk that I will throw in to be rid of it. Hey, that's that's good for me too. Estimating my volume, I think it's probably between 150 and 200,000 card. Well, yeah, that that's numbers that's right in my uh right in my wheelhouse. I've been pulling out value in batches since I decided to get rid of the collection and I'm down to some thousands of sorted-ish cards that are too valuable to sell as bulk and as it turns out below my personal threshold of effort. Several thousand in the one to five dollar range, probably a thousand in the five dollar plus range if they were near mint. A substantial percentage are not near mint. Okay, yeah, that that's understandable. You know, it's it's free stock. I'll look at it for sure. It's definitely thousands of dollars worth of cards. I attached a couple of pictures of the current state of affairs for reference, and I'll show those up here on the screen real quick so you can see what I saw when I saw this email. As far as I can tell, there's no standard model for this transaction. I'm just brainstorming after stumbling across your YouTube channel. Hey, that's the power of the social media. I'm really, really glad. <laughs> I, I get offers all the time that I hear people not having any opportunity or chance to hear about offers. So that's just from being present and, and, and putting my name and my face out there, right? So he understands they won't sell immediately or all at once. So there's substantial effort on my part here. Again, he says, just to be super clear, I don't want a percentage of the bulk. I'm offering the vast majority of the cards free and clear. I would only expect you to keep track of and reimburse me for the already identified cards that have individual current market values over a dollar, which I picked as a threshold because it was easy for me to identify quickly. Makes sense. That's the email from Nels. So just to um, summarize, this is a large collection he's going to deliver to me. Some small portion of it has already been picked out as designated above bulk status, literally above a dollar status, he says, with some subset of that being above $5 and condition being an issue. So, but this group is identified and separable as the consignment stock and everything else is free just to get it out of his house. Here, have it as an incentive to do this other effort for me. Okay, cool. So uh, I'm happy to have a look at that.
So um, I reached out to him. We talked. He delivered uh, the cards the weekend before Thanksgiving. Um, and I got a look at them and, you know, I felt like it was necessary to hurry and get a bunch of it listed for the big Thanksgiving, post Thanksgiving sale, just to do what's right by him to make sure that, you know, it's all out there available for the biggest sale left in the year. So I don't have like a first reaction from the consigned cards to look at with you. I can show you a good amount of what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and go look at that. Winter Orb. I always love this card because the artwork is so bizarre. This bear is so mad at whatever this is. Uh, Navinerals Disc is a classic. These, you know, these revised ones are all classic. And we get some more heavy hitters. Eerie Interlude, pre-release promo. This is up to like $11 now. Conduit of Ruin, pre Ruin pre-release promo. A casual couple of Atraxas, a couple of Clark Clan Ironworks. Tooth and Nail, Extra Planar Lens, just a fistful of Isochron Scepters, Lightning Greaves, Sword of Cauldra. Now these are just the near mint cards that I have listed. There's probably, this that's about 40% of the cards that I've gone through so far are near mint. Some Lilian of the Dark Realms, another Scepter. Foil Hot Soup is like $15. Um, here we go with some Alliances cards. Dictate of Erebos is over $10. These are after I stopped playing, but before I restarted playing, so I'm not super familiar with them, but Stifle is a classic. You know, four Peacekeepers, Portal 2. Look at that. Look at that artwork. Teferi's Puzzle Box, the original printing. How about an Enlightened Tutor? Hey, but some old Ice Age Painlands, Jester's Cap. Altar of Bone, Yokel Hops, Necropotence. I remember watching on ESPN2 the guy with the Necropotence deck. Draw card after card after card. How about a playset of Mystic Remora? Some 7th edition Pain Lands, another Puzzle Box, a couple of Birds of Paradise, Chalice of the Void. This, uh, Sweet player uh, reward invasion elephant token. I don't get super excited about Chalice of the Void, but this elephant token, that's neat. Vintage foils, Wasteland, Rise of the Dark Realms. Again, these are all near men. There's Stronghold and Snaring Bridge, Ruby Medallion, more vintage foils, Blood Moon, Goblin King, Altar of the Brood. Spencer, uh, From the Vault, Beseech the Queen, Sunscape Familiars took me right back to Invasion Block. These are $3 a piece for these walls, I think because of the Arcades wall deck. Gristlebrand, gotta love drawn cards. Mishra's Factory, 4th Edition, Lightning Bolt, some Urza Lands, some Red Elemental Blasts. It's an amazing collection to pull cards out of. And like I said, this is just the near mint stuff. There's one and a half times as much stuff that was in light play to heavy play condition. And I won't sell that through TCG player just because the customer service issues. Um, but I, I am gonna more slowly sell that stuff. Either I'm gonna buy list it just to get it done or I'm gonna sell it more slowly through the website or maybe eBay. Stuff that's that's got wear or damage to it is a lot less fungible to me, so I feel like it's wrong not to describe the issues, the the wear, the damage. Sabo Tavok, I remember. I really wished I had this card back in high school. I was really active in the invasion block. I was like 15 at the time. Was it 2000? 2000. Yeah, I was 15. Richard Garfield himself, right there. And uh, you just thought this was an urban legend, but here is the Chaos Confetti right here. I had a whole bunch of these. Elder Dragon Legends, Swords to Plowshares, Brainstorm, Counterspell, Hydra Blast, Dark Ritual. All these lovely uncommons and commons from these old sets. Library of Ling. Wanted to be that guy right there. I want to know what's in that book. So that last box was the uh, was the higher end cards box. Now after I went through it for condition, this is the 
lower condition cards that I don't have currently listed. Full of great cards, you know, nice high-end cards, even at low, lower condition than near mint. Try my best to get these listed on my website and or eBay so that people have an opportunity to buy those from me. Now these boxes here, these two boxes and this half a box, <clears throat> these are all lower condition cards from that are in that one to five dollar range. We've got, you know, some Chronicles, Urza Lands. And like I said, about 40% of the cards that were near mint and I could go ahead and list. Um, there were six of these long boxes. One is just full of sleeves now. So I won't be having to buy sleeves for a long time which in itself is nice. Here we got a nice promo foil Mind Stone. It's just not quite near mint, right? Like you said, it's all, you know, some of these are below a dollar at this point, but you know, 50 cents to $5 is about right for most of these. There were some in this group that were, that were higher. We've got a good amount of foil lands, some full art lands, lots of snow lands. I feel like the best play for my for Nels is to go ahead and try and just buy list these off. It would take forever to sell these through individually, I believe. It would take a long time to list them on my website or eBay. I still don't want to list below near mint on TCG Player for my own reasons. So I'm going to buy list those off probably to Card Kingdom. I'll see if we can't get a decent trade-in for store credit and... I have a bunch of something else to try and put towards try and get max value out of it that way then this box here this box is all crazy old vintage stuff or you know things like three kingdom portal three kingdoms lands and we've got let's see what do we got here this is these are book promos the Lathne dragon Arena. We have a couple of collector's edition cards. A dark ritual and a magical hack. So pretty desirable ones those. This section here is all original antiquities. So some original Urza lands, which are up closer to ten dollars now than five. Sitnal Druids on the reserve list. One Alpha Uncommon Wall of Ice. See the corners, it's alpha. It's a moderately played condition. Surface is pretty good, just some chipping on the edges. We got a stack, similar to the antiquities. This is beta. So these are crazy go nuts in value. Life lace, I think the life lace is like 70 to $80. Crawl worm, wanderlust, life force. So that's some beta cards. How about Arabian Nights? First non-core expansion. You know, none of these are the crazy Arabian Nights cards, obviously. You would think he would have sold that stuff off, made it worth his time. But Desert, I think, is a $10 card. Bird Maidens, like, 7 or 8 Got a bit of Italian Legends. I don't think, again, it, these are any of the super crazy ones. Gwendolyn de Corsi, Italian Legends, probably the best in the Italian Legends there. And we've got this section here is all unlimited. Mahamadi Jin, Savannah Lions, these are bangers. Northern Paladin. The Shivan Dragon, I think, is a $300 card in Near Mint. So this is a crazy find here. This is very played. Not quite damaged. Blue Elemental Blast is a big deal. Then we've got. An even bigger section of the dark. No Blood Moon, no Goblin Wizard, but we do have City of Shadows and Preacher. And then a bunch of the um, uh, commons and uncommons and uh, some of the uh, lower end rares. I think we have Nameless Race and Frankenstein. Yeah, there's the Frankenstein's monster. So some, some you know, Stone Calendar. And then we've got this section back here is Legends, including Rogach of Kerkeep. All those weird Legends lands, except for uh, Caracas. Kobolds of Plenty, Headless Horsemen. 
a lot of great cards. A lot of these are actually in pretty good condition. I uh, completely built around Rabid Wombat back in high school. You know, that Ancestral Mask came out in Apocalypse. So I had a, an aura deck that would drop as much as it could on Rabid Wombat. You call it Voltron now, but we didn't call it that then. So Rabid Wombat, each enchantment on it makes it bigger. Ancestral Mask gives it bonuses for each enchantment in play. So it, it got crazy really fast. Ancestral Mask and Armadillo Cloak and all that good stuff. So then out here in the garage, and I'm sorry for the reverb out here, but I can't make the sound quality any better out here in the garage. This is the big pile of bulk that I haven't had any chance to go through yet. Now he called this bulk, but you know, I have glanced through it some and it's very definitely not what I would have considered bulk in a lot of ways. Some things that jumped out at me are this. It's not sealed, but it is a entire complete set of Aether Revolt, non-foil. Not super valuable if it's not sealed, but you know, it's just the value of the cards, but mythics and rares in there. So there's that. Fatal Push. Uh, this Innistrad uh, bundle pack or fat pack box is full of Legends Commons. Nothing but Legends Commons. And you know, most of them are in pretty good condition. This, it's a Four Horsemen set. There aren't bulk in that set. And most of it is in, you know, regular BCW type boxes. Uh, but he said he ran out of boxes. He had a bunch of these in these black boxes like this. Like the ones inside. Um, and they are also ridiculous. So these are intro decks that have been opened and used, but not like used extensively. And we've got, oh man, look what I needed. Eighth and ninth edition rares. Beast of Burden, Aladdin's Ring. Great, okay, what we got in this one? This would be a Gate Crash Mythic, Obsidat, Oath of Teferi, Noyandar, Noyandar. So this is like random rares and mythics in this box. Free, not worth his time. And up here in this box, this one row box, we're looking at play sets of the dark commons. There's not bulk in the dark. It's not bulk in legends or antiquities or Arabian Nights. More rares, rare lands. And other temples, but still a whole bunch of non-basic lands. So yeah, I'm really excited to be going through all this stuff. A lot of this is real nostalgic for me, like this invasion stuff, the Chimeric Idol before. I haven't even been able to check out what's in some of these other boxes. These down here, it's just a box, like a regular old Amazon box or whatever. It's invasion. Plane shift. That was my jam. Uh, keep a lookout for shorts and stuff about it. So that was the whole collection that he brought to me. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get to show every bit of it to you. I Like I said, I had to hurry to get that stuff out for Black Friday, Cyber Monday and all that. But yeah, I'm very excited. I've, I've sold a lot during the weekend. I'm really excited to get a lot of those just under near mint cards up on my website. I'm going to have content about that for sure. If you're interested to see how I'm trying to keep track of the cards for consignment so that I can make sure that I pay him out um, appropriately, I I'm, am kind of inventing a way to do that uh, that hopefully is going to work, um, that isn't going to be too labor intensive. Um, and if you're interested in that, let me know because I, I'll be happy to do a video about that as well. Be sure you check out the website for more and more cards as they're getting loaded in kind of a dream opportunity, right? So here, here have several thousand dollars worth of cards. Just pay me half of what you net on them after your fees and your shipping costs and stuff like that. I don't want to do the work. It's not worth my time. On top of that here, have this other bigger pile of money for free. Okay. So yeah, I'm really going to have a lot of time digging through that and showing what, what that all looks like. 
and hopefully soon I'll be able to start buying more collections from you guys. Thank you for being very patient with me. If you'd like to see the video where I explain about what it means to me to be starting over and just where it is I'm starting over from, check out this video right up here or check out this one over here to see something else that's probably going to interest you.